last day on a Tuesday and I am still in my pajamas and so is Sophia. Because this little miss woke up at half past seven. This is a big lion, isn't it? So we're having a lazy morning. I wasn't actually going to film today, but I just felt like picking up the camera. So we're going to do a day in our lives. And Sophia is now eight months old. So if you would like to see a day in the life of a mum on maternity leave with an eight month old, then keep watching. Hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss a video. And let's get on with our day. Okay, that was funny. There was, oh goodness, I, I will look better than this. If you're new to my channel, I will improve. I promise you. We were watching Good Morning Britain and Pierce was arguing with someone and it was about Donald Trump and it was just boring. And Sophia picked the zapper up and just started hitting the change channel button. She actually landed on Milkshake and Paw Patrol which she changed it again. I just thought that was quite funny. It was like, she went, this is rubbish. Put something I want on and then change it to Paw Patrol. <laughs> Not that she even like watches telly yet. She doesn't understand telly or kids TV so. Isn't that a pretty girl who's just been groomed? Oh charming Rosie. Rosie come here. You so hello. Come on, your mummy for protection from the grab monster. How pretty is my dog? I mean, if that's not a reason to subscribe to my channel, I don't know what is. She's just climbed over here onto the toy box. Are you quite pleased with yourself? Is that your little seat? They're going to come back now then. Come on then. What's this? What's this? Come on. Come and give your mama a cuddle. Just looking at Rosie. She loves Rosie so much. First thing she does in the morning is not look for me, but look for Rosie. <laughs> Whoa, that's it, good girl. Come on then. It's like a ninja, this baby. He's so clever. He's so clever. Yeah. yeah. Should we go get dressed? I think we should. She wants to get Rosie's food. No. Look, she's thinking about it. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. You're coming to mama, aren't you? Oh, no, you sighed. Let's get you changed then. <sighs> I'm half ready, but she's hungry, so we're going to make your milk, aren't we? And then I'll finish getting ready. Yeah, she's very snotty today as well, aren't you, darling? So I'm dressed, but as you can see, my hair and makeup are not done. But you're all ready. Come on then, make your milk.
Sophia is going down for her nap, although she is fighting it today. I am ready now, but I have booked on for swimming. So obviously I'm not putting makeup on because I'm going swimming and I don't have any waterproof mascara. Oh, all the lights on. It's so dark when I first woke up. So I've all the lights on, but now it's, it's daytime. She's fighting her nap. So, can you hear her? She's like... So... I might make another coffee and... I was watching a YouTube video, so I might just finish that and then I've got a bit of laundry to do. But I did all my housework yesterday, so I'm, I don't know, I might just, I might just chill, enjoy it. I really look horrendous, but... Say lovey. She went down about five minutes ago at 10 to 10. It's now five to 10. Just double check, she's definitely down. Yeah, so what she normally does is, if she doesn't, she'll often just go down straight away, but if she doesn't, she'll bust for a bit, not cry as such, but just try and chat and she'll stand up on the bars and you can see her kind of messing about. And then she just sort of falls flat and goes to sleep. <laughs> so funny, it's like, ah! <laughs> Um, so I'm going to enjoy my coffee now and a bit of chill time before she wakes up and actually I decided that I might make some play-doh after my coffee because I wanted to do it yesterday it's on my autumn bucket list if you don't follow me on Instagram head on over there I'm doing an autumn bucket list challenge and I'm ticking all the things I want to do off this autumn and one of them is to make autumn play-doh and we've never played with play-doh might be able to do a bit of playing before swimming although if she's only just gone down now, she might end up having a longer nap. So we may not have time for that. Maybe something we do later. It is quarter to 11 and she's still napping. Why well, is she feeling a little bit under the weather today? A little bit full of cold. Not full of it, but I can feel a cold coming. Like I, I think I look quite pale and gross today. It's just in my nose. There's been one going around our family. Like Joe's had it. Sophia's had it. Has still got it. My mum has still got it, so it's kind of inevitable that I'm going to get it. But yeah, I just feel a bit, oof, sorry about this. I'm just going to go swap the laundry over now and maybe do some ironing or oh, unpack our swimming bags because I'm hoping she'll wake up quite close to swim time. I'm looking at my clock. Uh, there. <laughs> and then we can just head out the door when she wakes up. I've just whacked my hair up for swimming, but I just thought I'd show you what I'm taking. Sophia's still asleep, so I need to get some bits from her, but I've got my towel, I'm gonna wear my costume, some ordinary nappies, wipes, obviously my purse, dummy. Then when she's awake, I'll take a few swim nappies, her swimming suit, her towel, and that's it. I've also got deodorant and face cream in there, but we're not allowed to shower just to rinse off so we'll just rinse the chlorine off but other than that i don't really need anything because it's literally just you go in you swim you come out and you come home i'm not going to take any food or anything because i might oh, i don't know whether to wake her up now and give her an early lunch i might do that i might make her an omelette and give her an early lunch because i think then she'll want to nap after swimming she may i may just split lunch today i may give her a little snack now and a little snack after swimming if she stays awake in the car Oh, I don't know. It's a really awkward time. The best time would have been if it was now, so from 11 till 12, but that is their poor cleaning time, which is very inconvenient because that does not work around my baby's nap time. I'm going to make her a very simple spinach omelette and then also give her some avocado, and I may even take that with me because she could snack on that on the pool while we're quickly getting changed, although we only get five minutes before swimming and ten minutes afterwards. Oh, 
Show me what you got, give me something more Show me what you got, I need something else When you liberate me, feels like I am going crazy So full of love When you're dancing on me I'm beyond the new moon lazy So full of love I don't need nothing Too extreme so come on I'm very quickly going to give her her dinner I'm just letting that cool Hello, it is a while later now. I'm a little bit more put together, at least got makeup on and jewellery. We've all had a nap. Sophia had a nap and I just felt so tired. I think it's definitely a little cold brewing. Oh. Little madam wants the camera. Oh, thumbnail. <laughs> you know when you see that thumbnail opportunity, oh, a popper has popped. So, yeah. We all had a good nap. Forgive my pale lips, but I'll probably go to the shop later. So there's absolutely no point wearing lipstick because I keep, I keep forgetting. I put lipstick on at the ear and then obviously a mask covers it. Oh, <laughs> but we're gonna quickly have a bottle. I say we, Sophia is. I'm not gonna have a bottle, that'd be weird. This is a bottle of wine. Mm -hmm, I don't even like wine. <laughs> oh, nappy change. Rosie's just seen a cat or a dog or bird or squirrel or something outside and then we're gonna head to my sister-in-law's Joe's sisters to play with Sophia's cousin so one of her cousins is exactly the same age was born exactly four weeks before her and the other one is three who likes to watch my vlog and at the time of filming just to clarify, we're still allowed to mix households where we live and there won't be more than six of us. So there'll be five of us. Just to clarify, in case someone's watching this at a later date or in an area where you aren't allowed to mix households, it's very confusing in the UK. Tell me what are the rules like where you are? I don't know, do you have any rules? Do you have complicated rules? Do you even know what's going on? Because I don't. Just whilst I'm making Sophia's bottle, there's some musicals. Oh, is that better? This, um, if you hear music, it's Sophia playing. I thought I'd chat with you about my no buy. So I'm still doing it. Still going strong, haven't bought anything. One, so I have to count. <laughs> Two. Um, so I've, I've given myself a few rules. One of them is, oh, let me just make this because I can't count and talk at the same time. She's on seven ounces, if anyone wonders. Oh, and it is about half three now. Goodness, time flies, doesn't it? Okay, it's going to be a bit noisy now, but yeah, it's going really well. I'm not tempted to buy anything and I've decided I'm going to start buying just one item a month and invest a bit more rather than buying loads of little stuff and then buying the same thing again a few months later or whatever because the quality's gone. I'm just going to focus on buying one item a month. I've been following Tess Montgomery on Instagram and that's what she's been doing and her wardrobe is gorgeous. Hang on. I got a little munchkin wanting to say hello. Um, and that's so it, I'm gonna buy one item for me a month, one item for Sophia a month, unless she needs it. So just kind of one extra item, you know, like if I see a really nice outfit, I can buy that. But if she needs vests, you know, I can buy that whenever she needs it, that kind of thing. And what was the other one? One item for my work wardrobe because at the moment I basically have no work clothes. So actually I may have to break that a little bit because I'm going back to work in January. So that would only be three items. So we'll see. I may have to do a little bit of a sales shop just for work. But other than that, just one item for my work wardrobe. Just trying to get the milk, but it's in the machine. Oh, sorry, bad. It's in the machine. 
So I'm hoping that that will really help me to create a wardrobe that I absolutely love and get some better quality pieces. I've got my eye on some things that I'll choose just one item for October, but I've kind of, you know, going back and forth. I'm either looking at a nice camel coloured wrap coat or a silk shirt or some nice trousers, like some woolen trousers. I've got quite a few trousers at the moment. Maybe a coat or some kind of top or a cashmere jumper. Yeah, those are the things I'm thinking of. I'm back now from my sister-in-law's. It was so cute watching the babies play. They're just, yeah, really cute together. We nipped to Morrison's as well. And I did get Sophia some things. I know I'm on a no buy, but some things she needed. And then the others were in the sale and I'm going to count them as her one thing for this month because they're like an outfit. I can put them together. <laughs> I'm just justifying it. <laughs> I'm so weak. But I will try not to buy her anything else this month. I got her these sleeveless vests because she doesn't have any in this size. And I know these are summery, but they're good for when she's got dresses with short sleeves on or like the romper she's got today. So I thought it'd be handy to have a few of those in. <clears throat> I think they were, they were reduced. I think they were supposed to be 4 and I think they were 3 50 or something. There's just three of them. So they're really handy, let my dog in. <clears throat> then I got these leggings, they're like ribbed leggings. Then they've got a little turn up. And this, so these are all nine to 12 and these are two pound 50 instead of four. And I thought, so this is why I'm counting it as my one thing because I thought it'd be an outfit. So I've got these leggings and then I thought, this top, how cute is that? She doesn't have too many tops in this size, so that's good. And this should have been 350 and I think it was two pounds. And I like it because it's longer at the longer at the back. Can you see? It's really sweet. And then this jumper is so cute. So this is gonna be one outfit. This little jumper. Just love it, the pockets and the sleeves look. I've got nice little detail on. I mean, I've seen got cute buttons. If they made this in my size, I'd totally wear it. And this should have been eight pound and it was five pound and it's so soft. Oh, and then these <clears throat> um, bibs for Halloween. How cute are those? And they, so it says 250, but I think they came up no, these were 250. Yeah, these were 250. Rosie wants to play. Joe's got Sophia. Rosie just knocked the camera off. Joe's got Sophia. I've actually got a dance class later. It's like a dance fitness class. So that's at half past seven. It's 20 past six now. So I'm Joe was like, just go and chill, go and chill. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll just show you what Rosie's doing. This is Sophia's toy. She just always grabs Sophia's teddies. And then shakes them. I have to keep washing her teddies. You're a nutter. What are you even doing, Rosie? Yeah. Poor Sophia's not going to have any teddies left. I think teddies are Rosie's favourite toy. Is that daddy sneezing? You're a tart. I just realised I didn't finish the vlog yesterday. Um, the dance class was really good, very sweaty, very tiring. I loved it, can't wait to do it again. And we're heading to baby yoga now because it's now Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this day in the life vlog. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on bell notifications so you don't miss a video and give this video a like. Thanks guys. Bye bye. <gasps> Say bye bye. <laughs>